Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to the channel. And today we are going to be trying to recreate one of the craziest VTOL designs I've ever seen, known as the Triebflugel. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this word was popping up in my comments over the past couple weeks, so I looked into it, and yeah, it's kind of crazy. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, so here is an image of the proposed design, and I say proposed design because it never got past that. This was just an idea that was conceptualized, but it was a little bit too late for them to actually build it for real because uh, this was actually in 1944 towards the end of World War II. So it is very strange to think that if they just thought this up a couple years earlier, they may have actually got around to building this. <laughs> By the way, did you guys know that I'm on uh, militaryfactory.com? I don't know if you guys could tell, but believe it or not, that's where I am right now. I will be leaving a link to any external sources featured in this video down in the description, by the way, if you guys want to look into it a little bit deeper. Okay, so here's another image of this thing. This is on plainencyclopedia.com. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit easier to explain how this works. So basically, imagine a helicopter but you've put jets on the tips of the helicopter blades. And then after the helicopter takes off, you turn it sideways and you essentially get the Triebflugel. So these three blades here are actually capable of pitching like a helicopter blade to be able to give it lift as it takes off vertically. And then once it reaches a certain altitude, the pilot is intended to then tip it sideways and then these uh, propellers and thrusters can angle even more to give it more forward thrust because these these jets are actually going to angle with the blades. So the steeper of an angle you get, the more forward thrust you get. And then all of the pitch roll and yaw and all that is gonna come from the uh, tail back here. Now, I wish I could say that the only reason this thing didn't become a reality was because it was too late into the war to actually start building it. Turns out there were some other logistical issues with this thing too that made it probably not the best idea. So I think this military factory article sums it up pretty well. Um, landing, would become a nerve-wracking matter requiring specialized training, particularly since the pilot's seated position did not rotate relative to the airframe's axis. It remained fixed. So because it says a VTOL, meaning vertical takeoff and landing, the pilot was expected to essentially point straight up into the air, just like when you were taking off, and come down backwards in order to land this thing. And one of the big problems is that during this process, the massive spinning blades would be seen between the pilot who would be looking over his shoulder and the ground, adding further challenge to the action. So to make it easier to visualize, I found this animation in this video about the history of this plane, which I will leave a link to down in the description because I'm going to be showing, I'm just going to be showing this one clip of the uh, takeoff animation here. So this is how this thing was supposed to power up. And then eventually it was designed to take off essentially like that. But imagine having to do this in reverse. So you're the pilot sitting in this tiny little cockpit. Your seat's forcing you to be looking straight up and you're trying to look down at the ground while these massive jet propelled blades are zooming past your field of vision. <laughs> and you're on top of that, you're, you're literally looking over your shoulder, trying to orient yourself and see how far away you are from the, from the ground. Like, And also on top of that, this is something that was not addressed at all in any of the reading I've done on this. I don't know how the control over pitch and yaw was expected to be done at such a slow descending velocity. If all the pitch and yaw comes from the tail, rudders are only effective when they're moving through the air. If you're kind of hovering in a vertical landing, they're not going to have a huge amount of effect. So I see that th I think that's going to be a major problem for me when I'm trying to control this thing in a landing, but we're going to have to see what happens with that. And the best way to find out is to get there. So let's start building. Okay, so one of the major challenges, at least in Trailmakers, that I'm a little bit concerned about is the original design has a three-bladed propeller, which does not lend itself to our build grid in Trailmakers, because we're working on a grid that goes in 90 degree increments, which, is, which does not go well into the 120 degrees we're going to need for these blades. So I'm going to try to use three blades, but it might compromise the integrity of the blades themselves. And if so, then I'll just do four blades, because conceptually, 
it's still going to be the same thing. It'll just have an extra blade is all. Okay, so one of the really useful things in Trail Makers is this servo here, this helicopter engine. It does exactly what we need it to do. It rotates around the center while keeping the front and back stationary. All right, so I built one wing of this right now. And the interesting thing with this design is that there's actually no counter torque created because the rotational force doesn't come from the axis of rotation itself. All of the rotational force actually comes from the thrusters on the tip. So that's not going to provide any counter torque into the rest of the uh, vehicle. However, I don't know if this is going to translate in trail makers, but the real life version should have some frictional effect that would cause the plane to want to rotate in the same direction as the uh, blades themselves. But we're going to see what happens in uh, trail makers here. Okay. Oh boy. Well, why is this so bouncy? Stay up. Stay upright. No, stop bouncing. Just stay on the ground. Why are you doing this? Um, well, all right, so you can see how it's intended to work. I got the thrusters on the ends and these wings are supposed to be able to pitch like this to provide some lift, but uh, we're having the issue right now of not being able to stay standing when I spawn this thing in. It seems very, very bouncy and I think that's because of the steering uh, hinges that I've used to give these wings the appropriate angle. You can see that they like, they flex and bounce and that's exactly what I was worried about with using three blades instead of four, but let's see if I can get this to work. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think the prototype is now ready. I think I've actually built everything in and I put the controls in. Uh, the only way I can get this thing to not fall over when I spawn it in is to just put an anchor block on the bottom of it that just anchors it to the ground and see this this is what I was worried about with trying to use three uh, propellers or three blades instead of four. These steering hinges are not very good at keeping this steady. But uh, as you can see, everything seems to be working. All of our controls seem to be working fine. So I should be able to apply thrust and start spinning. Oh no. Oh, this is not even. All right, I'm going to start pitching. Oh, we're lifting off. It, <laughs> this does not look comfortable at all. Okay, but we're lifting off. This is good. This is good. Now we should be able to pitch. We should be able to pitch forward. Okay, you know what? Here's another interesting, uh, interesting little issue with this. I think the spinning of the propellers are also giving it some gyroscopic stability which makes it hard to pitch and uh, yaw. Roll is fine because I'm kind of within the gyroscopic axis, but it's so difficult. Hold on, let's go even more. Oh, there we go. Oh, this actually makes it kind of better. If I have the thrusters, oh man, this is bad. This is really, really bad. <laughs> So here's another interesting uh, factoid about this is um, this has no wings. This is essentially a wingless plane, meaning when this thing is flying horizontal, there is essentially nothing providing lift. So the way that they planned to deal with this was they were actually sp intended to fly at, I think it was six degrees, a six degree angle upwards, and the forward thrust would therefore be angled upwards by six degrees, providing the necessary lift for this thing to be able to maintain level flight. Uh, but as you can see, we do not have a very good radial symmetry, which is causing us to wobble like crazy. All right, I've done a little bit of an experiment here and I've actually gained some stability, even with the three blades. I did have these um, steering hinges doubled up here. I thought that was gonna give it more stability, but turns out it actually had the opposite effect. So I took away one of the steering hinges and now, I mean, it looks worse. <laughs> I mean, it looks a lot flimsier from this perspective, but watch when I actually start going. Okay, hold on. Wait, let's let's start. Let's just get in the air first. There we go. Okay, maybe this run isn't the best. Hold on, hold on. Let's just get ourselves some more, some more thrust. There we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I think we've reached a point. Yeah, see, the wobble's minimal now, and I actually have a bit more control. Look at this. This is actually not looking too bad. Okay, I'm going into a mountain though. Can we turn away from the mountain, please? Oh, 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 that was so close. There's no way I'm gonna be able to land this thing. There's no way. 
There's no way I'm gonna be able to land this at all. All right, I think I'm going to have to replace these tail fins with the more highly resistant version of them because we're gonna need all of the control we can get from the tail here. Oh, I'm trying to pitch so bad. We, oh man, this is so hard to control. I cannot pitch up right now. Oh no. This is a terrible creation. But once I get facing downwards, like once I pitch down at all, it's really hard to get out of that. Like I'm pitching up as much as I can right now and I just can't. I can't do it. Oh, there we go. There we go a little bit. Come on. There we go. Get up off the ground. I have no idea how I'm supposed to pitch up vertical though. It does not want to do that. So at least the good news is once I'm in this position, I have relatively easy vertical control. You can see I can go up and down but I don't have really any horizontal control. I can't really tilt myself. So I'm trying to guide myself back to the carrier here, but I don't know what it's expecting me to do to be honest. Oh wait, here we go. Oh no. Oh, too fast, too fast, too fast. I don't know how I'm expecting to land softly. I, I couldn't even get out of build mode and have this thing stay upright. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, 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 turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, stay upright. Stay upright. Stay upright. <laughs> How long do you think the pilot would have had to wait <laughs> for the propellers to stop before he could even think about getting out of the seat? Look at where his seat is in comparison to the blades. There's no way this thing could have an ejection seat. Like there's no chance the pilot could eject from this thing because you know what's going to happen as soon as the pilot ejects. I haven't seen any articles address that issue. Yeah, if this thing had a critical engine failure in the air, I'm sorry, you're riding this thing all the way to the ground. There's no jumping out for you unless you have a death wish. Okay, so I actually did a vertical takeoff and landing, but I really don't think there's going to be any possibility for me to be able to transition from horizontal flight to vertical. Uh, but, you know, I'm just going to try it anyway. I, I need to give myself more, I think, more pitch control. Oh, come on. Oh, my, it's so bad. This is so bad. I'm trying to turn to the right and pitch up at the same time, and I'm just falling down to the ground. That's all that's happening. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what is wrong with this plane? <laughs> what is wrong with it? Why is it doing that? This thing's so bad. I'm going to try a version of it with four blades because I just think it's going to be a lot more stable. I'm trying to... Oh, I guess I'm going this way. Oh, no. All right. Yep, I failed. This thing is so hard to fly. And I'm pretty sure a lot of that difficulty is coming from those steering hinges. So let's just eliminate the steering hinges entirely. And we're just going to add a fourth wing on the bottom like that. Oh! Well, that was not what I was expecting. Why? All right, let's see how this does. Trailmakers, what are you doing? Tra what are you doing, Trailmakers? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, there's no servos. Okay, yeah, of course that's stable now. But now the problem with this, look how stable that is, that's great. But now I have no, uh, I have no pitch control over the blades, so I can't go anywhere. It's just gonna do this forever. All right, I'm adding one servo back at a time, and I'm giving it an extra block of distance away from the center. So hopefully, that's just gonna give us some extra stability. Okay, here's second servo. All right, still smooth. Okay, here is third servo. Okay, still smooth. Okay, and here is fourth servo. Maybe I can use steering hinges for the collective pitch. I don't know how this is going to work. Whoa, look at this. This is the most promising yet. So, okay, that's way too fast, but it works. It, it seems to be working and we're not freaking out. Okay, let's see if this thing flies any more stable. No wobble. That was the main reason why I was doing this. Whoa, okay. Oh, there's some collisions happening. Oh, that ruined everything. That really ruined everything. Oh, no. I'm gonna have to add another another layer of buffer up there. Man, I am so surprised that the three-bladed one was giving us way less issues. All right, now there shouldn't be any more of that collision. 
Okay, this is looking good so far. It looks a little weird in the middle with the gap, but so far we're flying. Okay. It's to, it, man, the, the gyroscopic forces are real bad. It wants us to turn to the left constantly. I'm trying to yaw to the right right now. It's not working. Wow, we're dead. I wonder if that's what would have been happening in real life too. Oh, what is going on? See, the interesting thing is I take off really, really straight. So to me, it stands to reason that when I go horizontal, I should also be able to stay straight. But as soon as I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go faster. Maybe it's the speed that makes a difference. No, I'm still going relatively straight. But yeah, as soon as I, oh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, see, now I'm constantly, I'm constantly turning to the left. I don't know why it wants to constantly turn me to the left once I'm going horizontal. There must be some, some relation to the gyroscopic force. I mean, there's definitely a gyroscopic procession happening whenever I try to provide any type of pitch or, uh, or yaw control or roll control. It actually, like, it tries to pitch me in a different direction than where the blades are telling me I should be going. And I think that is actually because of some of the gyroscopic procession. Oh, I'm, oh no, get away from the mountain. Oh no, I didn't mean to flip like that. Okay, this thing is so hard to control. It's such a terrible design. Oh, they're lucky. They are lucky they never put a person in something like this. I, I'm, I'm slowly learning. I'm slowly learning about it. So the interesting thing is the steeper I pitch my blades, then the slower they're gonna rotate because they're meeting more and more air, air resistance against their rotation. So if I go like almost completely horizontal or vertical rather in this orientation, then the rotation kind of stops, which then makes it easier to actually control because there's less of a gyroscopic force happening. But it's still super awkward and weird to control for whatever reason. Just like the original design uh, had anticipated, I do have to keep pitching up because I have no actual lift coming from anywhere. Pitch up, pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. I'm trying to pitch up. I'm pitching up as much as I can. It's not working. Man, of all the failures of history that I've worked on, this might be just about the failiest of failures. I just want to take off vertically from land. I want to transition to horizontal flight, just like I've done. And then I just want to land back on land. I want to fly over to a different part of land, like over here, and then just land. <laughs> this is asking a lot of this creation, like a whole lot. I can't, I am constantly fighting this thing. Oh, no, 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 please. Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go back to the, uh, to the more accurate three-bladed one. Cause this, this is terrible. Yeah, check it out. There's the four-bladed one. Looks real stable, right? <laughs> and we got the three-bladed one here. Surprisingly, the more stable of the options. Even despite, you know, it, it wobbles a little bit. But you know what? I am very, very, I'm very happy to deal with this wobble compared to what I was dealing with with the other thing. All right, man, look at, oh, this feels so much better. I mean, it's still difficult. It does, no, get away from there. I mean, look, I, I at least have some semblance of control. I am falling out of the air right now, though. I really got to angle myself upwards. Okay. All right, come on, stay steady, stay steady. All right, we're getting over land. We're getting over land again. Okay, so now, oh, okay. Now I got to tilt myself up as vertically as I can. I'm trying real hard right now. Come on, keep going vertically. Yes, 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 yes. All the way. All right, now we're going down. I'm, I'm not vertical enough yet, though. I need to get more vertical. I don't know. I don't know how to get more vertical, though. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Man, it is so hard to level off in a vertical, uh, in a vertical orientation. Oh, oh, I'm figuring it out. I'm actually figuring it out. Oh, this is fascinating. So I can actually use my speed control to um, raise and lower the gyroscopic stability of it. So when I want to go, once I'm in a vertical position, I can try to solidify the vertical position and stabilize it just by slowing myself down. Oh, I'm trying to get vertical again. Come on, face up. Not over the water though. Yeah, there we go. And now I'm gonna activate that. And that should allow me... Oh, boy, now I'm going backwards. 
Eh, 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 this is this is terrifying. This is absolutely terrifying. I'm not vertical enough though. There's no way I can land like this. All right, take off, take off, take off. But you see what's happening, right? The less parallel the thrusters are with my body, the faster the blades are going to spin, and the faster the blades spin, the more it stabilizes my position. So once I get into that vertical position that I want to be in, ooh, overdid it there. I just got to basically turn the throttle down. It's just hard to get into that vertical position. It wants to fight it. Oh, 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 there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, this is good, this is good. This is real good. Oh my god, this is, a, this is my best chance yet at an actual landing here. All right, we're coming down. I have really no control over like where I'm gonna land. It's just wherever I happen to get the most vertical. All right, let's slow ourselves down here. Come on down. I actually did it. I actually landed this thing. <laughs> I, I really didn't think I was gonna be able to do a successful landing with this, but that was legit. It was the sketchiest landing I could have imagined, but it, there was, it happened. Oh, and I did it with the three bladed one too. Somehow the three bladed one ended up just working better. This is such a ridiculous craft. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this recreation of the World War II failure uh, known as the Triebflugel. Somehow it ended up being even worse than I had imagined. It was a nightmare to control. The gyroscopic forces are a terrible thing for actual controlled flight, but somehow I managed to use them to my advantage to help me land and get one successful landing that I, I doubt I could get again anytime soon. So if you enjoyed this recreation, you'll probably enjoy some other recreations that I've done on the channel that you can check out right here on the end screen. Click this playlist right here. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrabman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.